Welcome back to the Div 12 Resi's Waddle Park season. Now, on last week's episode, we suffered a 133-point defeat to the hands of St. Mary's. So there was redemption in the air. This week, we're taking on the Monash Uni Blues, which is Jared Davis's old side. If you've been loving the episode and you don't want to miss anything, be sure to subscribe down below. So this week kicked off like any other week would with a carb load on a Friday night, except the last time we did a carb load, Load, I didn't wake up feeling particularly great. So I opted for a home cook meal. Then I met the boys out at the pub. Uh, yeah, so Chegg has put me in charge of the carb loads. Uh, feel very honoured to be uh, taking the boys on Friday night under my wing. So I said, boys, let's go to the Precinct Hotel. Uh, great vibes. It was a little bit dark. Uh, couldn't really see what I was picking at. Went to pick up a chip and I picked up a green leaf of lettuce. After the precinct, we went to a comedy show because Connor Rogers was doing a tight five. rogie has been chipping away at his comedy career for a while now and the bloke was on fire. Roggy absolutely smashed the comedy uh, the night before the footy. Got the lads all in a good mood, buzzing the night before. Yeah, he's going to be an absolute star, that man. And he was a star the next day for the game as well. Getting to the comedy festival where I just get to sit down for two hours, have a little bit of a giggle. Might not have been best for the abdomen, but um, definitely relax the group. One, two, three, four, dickheads. And it was a great way to settle the pre-game nerves, watching Connor Rogers do his thing on stage. Really put the boys in a great mood going into Saturday morning's clash. All right, round... Four action of the Waddle Park Animals Div 12 Resi's career mode, season mode. Um, we're taking on the Monash Blues, which is Jared Davis's old side. So this is Paddy Dangerfield versus the Crows. This is Daisy Thomas versus the Pies. Gary Abler Jr. versus the Geelong Cats. He's taking on his old side at home, at home today. So a few complaints about the junior size ground that we played on last week. Uh, most of the complaints are coming from me because I was too scared of the lack of width and I couldn't get out the back like a little tip rat normally can. So um, excited to get home to the zoo. The zoo's open and um, yeah, hopefully we can bounce back from our 133 point defeat, which was heartbreaking. It took me two or three hours to get out of the funk of that result. Two or three days, mate. Two or three, yeah, a couple of weeks actually. But um, <laughs> redemption. Redemption starts now and I've woken up wanting the footy. So that's a good Medium by nine. That's right, um, we make him laugh last night and tonight we make him cry. It's good to be back at home, so um, obviously playing for a great a great uh, trophy today. The JD Cup, uh, feeling really privileged to be a part of this one. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get the dub for, for Water Park. Coming up against your old side today, mate. How yeah. are you feeling? No, it's exciting. It's really exciting. They actually bunch of really good blokes so it's good it's good do you reckon you're gonna get targeted today no no these these guys are too nice for that um but they're a good team they're, they're actually a good team a lot of a lot of experience which is something we probably struggled with a bit last week but i'm excited i feel like this ground suits our game style as well two weeks ago on the wing c rogers waddle park 10 goal win last week c rogers out corked arsehole Come out there, they get belted by about 150 points. This week, see Rogers back in. Let's see what the common denominator is. I have a feeling I know the answer. LeBron James. Late again. Drews, there's no schedule. There's no set time. I know Checkers says get here at 8.20. Baz, that's 8.40. All right. I need time. Hello, Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Saviour of Roaming House. Oh, that was nice. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, yeah. um. Here we go. This is what it's all about, redemption. The redemption no matter of There's highs, there's lows. The boy, does the vibes feel good? The boys are on, I feel, just quietly. Um, cannot wait. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give my belongings to Drew's. I'll take it. Thank you, mate. So, Scotty works at Producey. Yeah. Been around the traps for a while, been on the channel before, but you're debuting for the animals. Yeah, can. Very excited. Nervous times to start the animals. First it's, game, never easy. Is it more pressure or less pressure knowing that we came off 133 point loss? <laughs> <laughs> well, since I was against my old side, I feel like there's a bit of a redemption arc yeah. ready, to, ready to be built. So, no, I reckon 
Just an off game. You have your off games. Yeah, it yeah, happens in the third. It happens in the thirds. It happens all the time. So. And we're both whipping around the forward line. Yeah. How long do you reckon it'll take for the chem to click? Not long. Not long. We've known each other long enough now. I reckon. Uh, just give it. We should be able. I reckon there's a goal between us. First ten minutes of this game. Hundred percent. I'm feeling Lock that. that in. Stengel, Brad, close. I'm pretty nervous, you know. But we got we went to training on Tuesday. Got back to basics after our <laughs> huge loss. So we're feeling a lot better today. It's less pressure because we can't go worse than last week. Exactly. No, oh, we can. We we technically, you can. can we? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't reckon. I feel like the team in today, some good inclusions. Burjo. Feeling good. Come on, actually, Yellows. Look at him. Burjo, how are you feeling, mate? Co skipper, obviously. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Leader of the group. So excited. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful it is a pearler. I'm so keen. Um, so keen. Who's tossing the coin, me or you? I'll give you the run this, this week, I reckon. Oh, I've, had, I've had three in a row. Oh, I think it's your turn. Yeah. All right, what do I do? Heads or tails? Um, they, I think they pick. I think because they're the they'll, way, they'll pick who, who picks heads or tails. Oh, three. But if they pick you, I can go heads. Yeah, because I've done tails last week. What way are you going to pick? Are you going to do the trunk coach and pick the wrong way? So or? I like I like the members end for the last quarter. Yeah. Like, but the McDonald pocket. But then starting here, no, nah, I reckon we end here. So I reckon we kick to the construction site. Oh. Yeah. Don't be silly. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's ready. Feels like that's a taste of things to come. <laughs> What's going on, brother? What's going on? What's up, brother? Is that, is that still a thing? Uh, no, do we do we cancel that yet? I never really hopped on that train. Okay, yeah. Um, Didn't last long. You're on today, you reckon? Yeah. Um, first time opening up the club. Don't know what all the keys are for the doors. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, there's no toilets. Oh, look out, here comes the footy. Oh, oh. No. Last time you were on this ground, 200 plus ranking points. So yeah. Um, run it back. Run it, run it back. I'll have a crack. But, uh, we went to Coles this morning and I had a chocolate milk, so I'm on. Beautiful. We were late to the game because we had to go to Coles and buy smoke machine fluid and chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone else that. That's a fine, I reckon. <laughs> smoke machine fluid. Where's Trader at too? Is his headphones still on? No, I took them off. Oh, that might be awesome. yeah. That's a foot too. That really hurt. Okay, so are these, are these celebrities or are you saying... Athletes. Like, semi-niche footballers. Cause like I'll these... say some semi-niche footballers. <laughs> Nick Clifton. Dennis Armfield. <laughs> um, this is just a favourite of mine. Give me Mark Bickley. Mark Bickley. Wow. Lockie O'Brien. Yeah, well, we love the log, don't we? Uh, <laughs> Carbo was great last night on the chips. Aioli, tomato sauce. Mix them up every now and then. It's good for the stomach. Obviously, coming off a 133 point loss, could be in the dumps, but I think the mood's pretty high. We're going to do a little bit more warm up this week. Back pocket plug is returning, obviously, we discussed that at training. Got out, I got over line. Smoke machines edition. <laughs> now the fun stuff. Here's the serious stuff. So the board's here. We got Scott coming in for his first game for the last <laughs> St. Mary's, so pretty much like any of their forwards last week. So. Um, Zach's coming in for his first game for the club. Uh, yeah, this is the Jared Davis Cup today, if anyone's. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, but I think it is time that we get the guitar out. That's a good one. <laughs> Pre-game was interesting. A lot of people didn't want back pocket plugger to be played again. Checkers comes to me middle of the week and he goes, look, Doss, I know back pocket plugger was super controversial. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. This week, we're doing back pocket plugger again with a smoke machine. I did not want it to happen once and it's happened twice. Huge, huge for the smoke machine. That made me feel like I was in the NBA in the in the in the late nineties. But we don't need to keep singing this song. For the blokes with asthma, it was probably their worst nightmare. Uh, but it was a good tone setter. Still unsure as how I feel with back pocket plugger at the start of the game, but it seemed to set the tone beautifully. A back pocket plugger. A back I wasn't up for back pocket plugger again after the week before, um, but I'm just the man behind the camera, so no one really cares about my opinion. <laughs> but um, it was funny, the smoke machine, seeing Jared Davis run out through the fog and start coughing his lungs up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Let me get this right. Can you flip this around just so I can <laughs> check myself out? Good back, good group. Taxi. The first term kicked off with Bailey McCabe going for an intercept possession. His opponent, having no eyes on the footy, running through Baz and the ball hitting his opponent on the back. Why do people always want my head? And some may say, Baz, you just fell over. I've heard that a little bit, but I copped a stiff arm to the chest. Free kick, please. After coming off a 133-point defeat the week before, to get down to the zoo early on Saturday and have them have the first three or four scoring shots, it did make me feel a little bit unsettled. Sitting on the bench, I thought, is this going to be another time that we see ourselves get rolled? As a back line, and the ball's coming in there early. We were, we were fine. We knew what, what the task was and we knew we just had to get the, the football down there and we were going to kick goals because the, the level of our forwards, they're, they're too hot, they're too good. Vinny was breaking down the wing. He, he sort of fumbled the footy, socketed it out of midair and it landed in my lap. So I'd kicked one goal early and I felt quite confident. I felt really good. Vinny would tell everyone that the soccer off the ground was meant to go to Dossie. It wasn't. <laughs> but Dossie found the end of it, which he's very crafty in doing so. He finds himself on the end of a lot of kicks, which is good. Shortly after, the ball came inside 50 and I pounced on a bit of a crumb. I got boot to ball, um, but it was as the guy put his hand out and touched it. So it's pretty hard to see on the camera, but I said to the opponent, I wasn't certain that I got boot to ball to kick that through. I thought it was a behind. Uh, there was a soccer which I reckon if we had uh, the arc um, in thirds football, you would find that Dossie got nowhere near the footy. So they've awarded me a goal, and it's my second of the day, but I was feeling a little bit guilty. Shortly after that, I had a little mark in the pocket, and this is my third look at goal, and I was really confident with the snapshot from the boundary line. So I, I arced out, snapped it at goal, and I was certain that this one went in, but they awarded this one a behind. But then you had a snap from the pocket. I don't really get the logic of how this was touched because the defenders punched it forward. So yeah, strange one. You had two goals won, but it should have been two goals won. We just gotta keep, like, when the ball's coming in, like we're getting good looks and I think we're competing really well. It's when, it's when the ball's like taking a bit of time and again, the numbers back, we're finding it hard. So let's just keep pushing the mids and everyone to get it in quick. We well, took a mark on the wing, it was perfect. Took it, turn, go. We yeah. gave us an opportunity, so just keep doing that. Keep let's come up to the footy, let's not yeah. go back to it. When we, when we, big get, it to go back. When we get it on the 50, let's not fuck about with it. Let's really look for those options early. Because yeah. the longer you hold it, the quicker the 50 is going to fill up. Ah. Fucking miss over there. As good as I got here. That's about a metre over. <laughs> He's kicked the whole the, scoreboard. The other one I had? Nah, so, I got here like 90 seconds before you kicked that one. I kicked a drop punt off the shins and then there was one where I'm like running into the goal square and it rolled off my shins and we're both chasing it and he just taps it through and the girl goes Go. <laughs> and I'm like oh, I don't know man but I took it I oh, that was probably one of our worst and then our worst quarters is moving yeah. the ball still four points up right. let's take that as a positive that when we get to our best that's when we can really start to roll on them. I think the one thing we're really struggling with at the moment is transitioning from our D50 to our 450. We're getting stuck in this middle bit where we're taking short 15 meter kicks and we're not hitting them. Especially around that 70 meter mark. Let's get it in long. We got one on one forwards. Let's trap it deep. Let's give Doss a chance. Let's give Will a chance. These chip kicks going to their half back line, which is by far their best line. Their half backs are really good. So let's go over the top of them. Let's really make their half backs work. Up and back, up and back, up and back. Let's give our forwards a chance. So I go into the midfield to start the second term and I was feeling myself. After back pocket plugger, after the smoke machine, I've kicked two goals, one in the first term. There was a bit of a stoppage at half forward and I grabbed the ball, tried to dance around one and then another one came at me. Tried to dance around two and I thought that went well. Why don't we try a third? Tried to go a third and a fourth and I got caught holding the ball. There was two opportunities to bang it on the boot and there was a a million opportunities to pass it off but I was feeling myself in that moment and I thought I could have pulled off the miraculous. I thought he was playing just dance out on the 
the half forward flank and he was hitting all the, the perfect moves and then his controller must have died and he got <laughs> caught holding the ball. I rate the confidence from you, McDonald, to take the game on because last week you didn't want to go near it. You didn't want to put your head over the ball. So I rate that. You know, you're exploring new areas and testing your limits. Your limit's probably the third man to take on, but at least in the future you have confidence to take the game on. I saw Lockie, one of the boys, on the 50, and he was just he just had no options at all. So as I was standing still, you could see me point out to the pocket where I want it kicked, and kicked it was. It wasn't my favourite pocket, but I thought, I'll back myself in here, and just split the middle, just absolutely sent it home. No matter either side he's on, that left foot set shot is money at the moment. You can say Will Taylor doesn't miss, but he's only got he's got one way, and that is lead to either pocket. He's worried about the V. One pocket, two pocket, mark and go. <laughs> Three certainties in life: death, taxes, and Will Taylor slot one from the pocket. Jarrah takes on a couple of players. He then spots Scotty Walton in the pocket. I had a feeling it was going at the back, so I run over because if this goes to ground. Um, I'm going to pounce on it. Just goes over Scotty Walton's fingertips and I start charging towards the pocket. Gossie was on all game, but the second quarter he was pulling some things out of his ass. What I think teams aren't really understanding this early into the season is this bloke does this for a living. The speed on McDonald coming through that contest is something that I've never seen before, but the man just had the hot hand or the hot foot. When I get a little bit of momentum and the sight of goals in the background, I become a little Stephen Mill tip rat. I just see blinders and that's that is the only thing I have on my mind. So I picked the footy up at pace. Oh my God. I gave a little oh handball God. to Jacob Mitchell because I thought I was going to get decked and I was running past going, give it back, give it back. And he gives a quick handball and as I break through the 50, I kick a helicopter through the Hunter big Rog, stick. Kicks it inside. This can work for Water Park. How does it bounce? It bounces well. Doss gets the ball. Handballs forward to Mitch. Gets it back. Runs into open goal. And he kicks it. What a great goal for Waddle Park. He said he was on. It was on mindset all morning, wasn't it? Job's not finished though, Drew. Job is not finished. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Holding it down, down back. Killing it, mate. Well, I'm finding a bit of it. I'm finding a little bit of it. Good man. It's hot. Hot day. You're doing well. You're doing I'll well. get one. I'll get one. I'm going to go for a bit of exploration in this second half. Yeah. Now that we are. Remember, up. defend first. Defend first, but I've still kicked a goal in every game that I've played, so that's not going anywhere, bro. Oh, uh, pretty good. That quarter was probably our best quarter of the year. But yeah. Sure. yeah we, just, we kept doing that all day. We'll come over easy. It's good. It's good. We spoke about it um, quarter time about their half backs sort of killing us a bit, and we were kicking it long, and we unsettled their half backs. As soon as we kick it deep, the kick out of defence is coming straight back to our half backs. So, yeah, it's good. It's really good. So, there's lots of space in the forward line this week compared to last week, and there's lots of space in that midfield and that half forward line. So, keep it up. It's good. I'm going uh, a couple minutes and we'll head back out. What's going on here? Yeah, good man. Um, we we'll moved from the wing to the back flank in the second um, second quarter, but because we had so much of the ball, I sort of turned into a wingman anyway. Like I was pushing up, I was still on the wing, so I just got told by one of the senior boys that they've renamed the the uh, change room wing the Connor Rogers wing. So I'll take that, mate. I've got a little lady bed pocket type operation going. I don't mind it. I'm really not. I'm heavy on lollies right now. Don't want to do this warm up. Unbelievable effort, Rog. He um, picked the ball up, did a cheeky pirouette, bangs it inside 50. Jared Davis grabs the ball on the point post. I thought he was going to handball it back into me. I was licking my lips. I'd had five at that stage and I was really keen for the six, but he didn't have to. He bounced off the uh, the point post and slotted it through the big sticks. That was out of bounds. That needs to be recalled. I think it actually needs to be looked at and the uh, and the, the league needs to give us a formal apology because that was that was out of bounds, Jay Davis. Jeez, we've got a good back line. Uh, my two favourites down back uh, is the mighty nutsack. Dan Thorson and uh, Jared Sandals. Two bald fellas. Two beautifully bald fellas. One, uh, just vital down back. Having these three guys, Sandals, Glanville, 
Big Dan. It was good. They weren't really getting it into our forward 50 and we were exiting really, really well. In the third quarter, I've kicked five. I feel like it's my day. I feel like I'm on. So I started to go a little bit selfish. Now, Kanan got a bit hungry in the third. He obviously wasn't happy with, happy with the main course. So he wanted a little bit extra. He wanted a few entrees as well. Yeah, for the captain of the football club, you should probably share the pill a bit. I think your mind is definitely going towards views, clips, and looking good on Instagram. So um, maybe put that secondary to doing the right thing by the team. So then I mark it in the pocket in front of the cameras. I was in front of my best mate. Liam Van Gemps was on the boundary line. And all he was saying into my ear was, you don't have the distance, mate. You don't have the distance. Encouraging me to kick it. And there was a devil on the shoulder saying, go the torp. Go the torp. 45 out on the angle. And then there was the angel on my shoulder that said, mate, you've burnt your teammates five times now. You've got to give it off because you're starting to look like a bit of a dickhead. Walking in for the shot, and then at the last second when I saw Burjo, co-skipper, lead at me, I'm like, I've got to palm this off to sort of save face because, um, yeah, I've burnt a few too many in this quarter. Now, despite burning my teammates throughout the third quarter, I felt like I had bought back a shot on goal after passing it off to Bert. So I gather it at 45 out. Jarrah, Shrey and Will are <laughs> right next to me to my right. And I thought, boys, I've passed one off, so I get to have another crack at the big sticks. I wheel around, snap it from 45. As it leaves the boot and I get bumped to the ground, in my head I thought, if this doesn't go through, I completely understand I'm going to cop it. Um, and fortunately enough, it sailed through for six at three-quarter time. To be fair, he was kicking behinds, which we don't point fingers for kicking behinds, but he luckily kicked it because otherwise he would have probably copped three different earfuls from uh, all of us. The play to Burjo was very well done, very professional. Um, but you got to take those snaps when you're on the run. Right foot, snap, sailed through. And Joshy get in front. Can't blame him. Does it. well. Lands in Doss's lap. Doss has a go himself. Can it go in? Looks good. That's number six. There we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good timing. And Doss. What do you think of Doss's performance so far, man? Uh, he's five or six so far. A little bit hungry, but I guess that's what you play for. Yeah. He's making him look slow out there. He's on fire. <laughs> what has happened here? I got really bad blisters. Mate, fight through it. If blisters takes you off, that'll be a devastation. You only need four more for the big double digits. turf day, too many kicks. I've got blisters. <laughs> blisters are going to sub me out. <laughs> yeah, mate, this many kicks in a game, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't reckon I have. I mean, I knew we were going to get ring-ins this year. Like, there were rumours we might get Adam Cooney, these sorts of blokes, Dylan Buckley, but I just can't believe we've managed to get Robbie Gray in round number three. That is extraordinary. How good is it going to be when we turn around with a 100-point win this week after last week? How good is it going to be if our skipper kicks 10, man? Like, yeah, come on, we're going to Just go back out there. Just go back out there. Everyone else high, and you've just got to play goal square. They'll keep. They'll just keep we'll feeding you. We'll feed you, Doss. We'll feed you. Well, makes me feel, makes me feel better about burning everyone that I've <laughs> That wasn't very you good. Gotta, you just gotta keep isolating yourself. I'll put vaso and tape to stop the rubbing. Yeah. Made it 14 times worse. Rodge was unbelievable throughout the whole game. The man acquired 36 disposals on that wing. It just showed how much we missed him uh, when he was out last week with the cork buttock. Yeah, Rog was just incredible all day. Aside from the eight goals, I think Rog was definitely best on ground. He's made that wing his own, the Rogers wing. I think they're starting to call it down at the zoo. So, um, yeah, what a handy addition to the animals he's been this season. Just a hard man. At one stage, there was a dog on the ground um, and the play got stopped, which was quite funny. Yeah, I understand we're at the zoo. Domesticated animals, not allowed. Get off the field. I don't know where your owner is, brother, but get off the field. So it was about 20 minutes into the last quarter and I'd played deep forward and the whole goal 
that Checkers had said was get it to Kados. Um, and I couldn't get anywhere near it. So I went into the midfield just because I wanted to get a couple of extra kicks in this last term. And it was when I moved into the midfield where I got a lick of the ice cream. By that point, we all knew that the mission was to get it to DOS. He went bang, bang, bang. At this point, you've kicked six, the confidence is high, the boys are leading. Um, and it's just like a goal kicking challenge for him at this point. Um, playing with confidence, banged one in, tough kick, that one from the flank. Um, and then took the mark and thought, you know what, I'm a prime Robbie Gray, I'm going to play on and kick my eighth for the day. Thank you very much. MVP. That'll be fun, ain't it? MVP. <laughs> well done, Jazz. Oh, I'm a coaching masterclass for me. You know, throughout the week I said we need a bit, a bit of body in the midfield, but we need a little bit of class going forward. Me and Doss, switch. Don't come off the field. Me and Doss, just one for one. Combined for 10 goals and 50 touches. That's he, unreal. He did kick eight of them, but, <laughs> but I had a few shots and I passed a few to him. So. Let's get into the rooms. I'm going to take credit for it. The dream about kicking eight, I think it must have been Dossie instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding, not kidding. On th Friday morning at 5am I woke up, I texted the boys, had a dream I just kicked eight, so I'm going to do that Saturday. I didn't, but Doss did. Killer, <laughs> mate. <laughs> 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 Wrap that up. Oh, that was that was unbelievable. The highs and lows of footy. Hey? Yeah, what the fuck? A week's a long time in football. I wanted to give the sport away. I didn't go to training on Thursday. I'd, I'd had just about enough. But you're never allowed to go to training again. Yeah, well, superstitious. I was just managing my loads. I had a big big week the week before and just managing loads. But far out when it rains, it pours. Won't be like that every. We, we've learnt that it's not like that every week. But if it's like that more often than not, what a sport. This is my last kick at goal. Cramp so oh, bad man. on the kick, like as I kicked it. But anyway, good game. Very good, good game. Vinny, how'd you feel? Yeah, first win for the uh, for the animals. Snag. Happy Snag. Snag. Yeah. Didn't, I looked at the stream, they didn't catch my celebration, but I gave him a bit of the arrow. Dersma style. So I got that, I got that's that. That's gonna be uh, okay, that's good. I'll have that afterwards. <laughs> Like, was that from the outside 50? Yeah, I think it was about 65. Yeah, a bit and of a then just drifted right to it. No, actually, I'll be honest with you. It's about 35 meters out, and I bellied it. <laughs> it just went like that. But I got into a little bit of a tussle with the guy on me, and then I was like, oh, I have to kick this. Prime Robbie Gray stuff that was. Yeah, I, I like that sort of analogy because I do a little bit of mid, crafty forward, and he could take a bit of a hang and. You know, I've only taken one in my life, so I don't know if I could put myself in the hanger category yet, but I'd like to think I can sort of get up Jamie Elliott-like and sort of get my hands out to him. So um, I'll take the Robbie Gray comparisons. Uh, I'm a fat div four thirds Robbie Gray. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That is another episode of the Div 12 Resi's Wattle Park season. Um, I really appreciate all the support on all the videos, and we'll be back next week for another episode. Cheers. Cheers.